Hello, in this video I would like to introduce you to our newest Wi-Fi configurable multifunctional timer with 10 amp capacity. Compared to our existing 10 amp timer, it's a little big, it's, it's about 50% bigger, a little thicker, but it uh, provides a number of uh, benefits. So one of the advantages of the new timer is that you can connect a load to either power or ground and you can switch the timer output to be either positive or sync and so you can control the various uh, types of uh, loads. Another advantage is that you can uh, configure all the timer parameters via smartphone or the computer. And uh, another advantage is it has additional input uh, wire which uh, would be used for sensing different voltages and trigger functionality based on the voltage levels. Timer connection is very similar to the 10 amp timer. The red wire is the input power, the yellow is the output, black is the ground, blue is the trigger, green is additional input, and white is to enable the Wi-Fi programming. So let's connect the timer and uh, configure it with the smartphone. So I have 9 volt battery here with the uh, LED. So red is the power, black is negative, and yellow is the LED output. So I'm going to connect uh, red to red, black to black, and yellow is output. If I turn the power on, we'll see LED blink is because the timer is programmed in the function 5, which is just a repeating cycling pattern. So I'm going to turn it off. So, put, so to put the timer into the programming mode, we will uh, take the white wire, ground it. So as you see it on the manual here, we would ground this wire first, and then we will supply the power. And now the timer creates a Wi-Fi network called timers.shop, and you can connect to this network from your phone or computer. So I'm going to use the phone in this example. I'm going to open the phone and go into the Wi-Fi networks. So I'm going to the Wi-Fi networks and I find the timers.shop network. I'm going to click on it and connect to it. And then I'm going to open the browser and type address uh, 192.168.4.1 and click go. It will open a timers uh, main uh, page. So we're going to click on the timers configuration. And this is where you can see all the timers configuration. So here's your uh, time T1. It's a top for 5 thirds of the second. T2, uh, function 5, trigger 0, output positive or negative, or ground sync. Gradual or reverse output, low power consumption, and a save mode. So what we're going to change, what I'm going to change, I'm just, I'm just going to change the timing. So instead of one thirtieth of the seconds, I'm going to say it's actually zero, and I'm going to say it's two seconds. And T1, I'm going to change to a one second. And I'm going to keep the function five, and I'm going to save it. And now we can test it. So now we're going to turn the power off and back on and we'll see that the LED turns on for two seconds and turns uh, off for one second and so forth. So uh, you can change the configuration via the phone at any time and the only thing that you need to do is ground the white wire, turn the power on and then you connect from your phone to, your, to the t uh, timer shop network. I'm just going to do it quick on the phone. Timer shop connects, uh, and then I'm going to refresh this page, and I'm going to timer configurations, and you can see that it uh, saved obviously our two second on and the one second off, and you can change your functions and uh, triggers and different outputs and and just save this configuration. Uh, the other things that you can do is you can turn the power on. So if you want to test your output, you can just uh, 
turn the power on via the app, turn the power off so that you can easily test your output update. Firmware is uh, a very useful feature. We will uh, be adding a section where you can download a custom firmware or custom functions and upload to the timer. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much.